Shalom, praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are looking at the book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And verse number 2 says, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Christ conquered. He conquered death. And he did this for your sake, for my sake. He endured the cross. The way of the cross, as we said yesterday, was not easy. But Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, he was able to endure the cross. And the victory he got is yours, is mine, but we are called to fix our eyes on him. He is the pioneer and a perfecter of faith. So if we want our faith to remain vibrant, we must purpose or we must intentionally fix our eyes on Jesus. When we do so, Key thing in the book of Luke chapter number 9 verse 62, the Bible says, Jesus replied, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. When we look back, when we change our direction or our focus, we are not fit for service in the kingdom of God. But when we remain focused, looking into Jesus, fixing our eyes on Jesus, we are counted fit for service in the kingdom of God. God is calling us not to turn elsewhere, not to look at anyone else, but we keep our eyes on Jesus. For what reason? For us to be counted fit for service in the kingdom of God. Because when we look elsewhere, we will not be able to obey or to follow this master. We will not be able to listen to his counsel. counsel. We will not be able to, you know, display what he expects of us. We have to put our eyes on him. Fix your eyes on Christ. For what reason? For you to be counted fit for service in the kingdom of God. And this reminds us that it is not just the kingdom of God while here. It is the kingdom of God, both now and in the days to come. Because when we remain focused on Christ, he will always point us to eternity. And so the call is that we must remain dedicated, focused on Christ, so that we may be counted fit for service in the kingdom of God. You remember the Bible says that you cannot serve two masters. And so for you to be able to dedicate your life fully to Christ, we must fix our eyes on him. And again, he is the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Everything that we talk about Everything that we have today comes from Jesus Christ. And so fixing our eyes on him is very key. And more importantly for us, as we have read in the book of Luke chapter 9 verse 62, for us to be counted worthy and worth of the kingdom of God. Fit for service in the kingdom of God. The secret is fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. May the Lord bless you. God keep you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.